Right, folks, going to do uh, not a serious rant, but an observation uh, of something I noticed the other day. Now, uh, electric cars, right? Although I am a fan of electric cars, I think the Teslas, uh, me and my mate Mark, we did a couple of uh, reviews in all. Uh, I'm have to get back on them now the weather's changing. Slobbered. Um, so, I'm not against electric cars as such. I think you should have the option and all that stuff. But one of the reasons why I don't want an electric car, uh, and in less, in less than 10 years, apparently, you're only going to be able to buy electric car cars. So what I'm going to do in the final year before uh, you are only allowed to buy electric cars, I'm going to go and buy, excuse me, a petrol car and a diesel van. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go and buy one of each. That will see me through. Um, I'll be in my late, uh, late 50s. If I can't make a car last me that amount of time and whatever, then I'm not fucking bothered. I'll probably end up buying one in the end. You are right, Wind? June, you got Wind? Bin. <laughs> All Wind and Piss, June. Uh, we've had tuna sweet corn sandwiches. Repeats on us, I said it repeats on us. So anyway, uh, so what I'll be doing is I'll be buying a fucking car and a new van uh, and it'll be basically, fuck Boris, fuck Greta, uh, fuck Net Zero, uh, fuck driving for about 80, 100 miles and then having to charge it up. Uh, and it can, you can just fuck off, I'm not having it. And all those fucking protesters who are outside the oil refineries, they can all fuck off and all, because I'm not doing it. I'm not bowing down to the pressure of them twats hanging off Tower Bridge. In fact, what I will do, I'm going to buy myself a fucking Range Rover and call it Greta. I'm going to buy either a 2.5 or a 4 litre one, whatever I can get, and just drive it. And I'm going to call it Greta. Or I might call it ER, or is it EX, or whatever. Is it EX, Extinction Rebellion? Extinction Whatever, Extension, Extinction, Extension, Extinguish. Couldn't give a fuck. I'm going to do it. So, uh, because while countries like China and Russia and Pakistan and India and America are all polluting the fucking world, what we do here means zero net. Fucking nothing, look. You see that? My fingers are together, look, because it means that much. Um, but one of the points of this is, is the fact that uh, people have been tweeting Elon Musk, asking him, telling him, to shut down the Tesla cars in Russia. I don't get it. The, the, uh, what Do they think that, like, Putin has taken the fucking cannons and stuff off the ta top of tanks and strapped them to a fucking Model S or a Model Y and they're all bombing towards uh, Ukraine for about 80 mile and then having to stop and charge up. Now, no doubt, there'll be some seven clever sods out there saying, oh, a Tesla can do approximately 160 miles or whatever. Couldn't give a fuck. Couldn't give a fuck. If you've got a cannon strapped to the top of your fucking car, it's going to take more energy. So work that one out before you start coming here with your clever shit that I don't really care about. Um, They're saying, oh, the, 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 the tweeting Elon Musk is saying, oh, shut down, shut down the Teslas in Russia. That'll show Putin. Will it? Why will that show Putin? Why will it? Do you think Putin gets in a fucking Tesla, pops down to McDonald's? Oh, he can't go down there now because they've shut them fuckers down in Russia. Um, do you think he's going to get in this Tesla and just drive around and he's going to get like halfway down fucking Comrade Boulevard and it fucking stop and he's got to walk back to the Kremlin? You're fucking talking nuts. It's Junie, baby. Dog's bought a Dog's bought a twiggin'. Um... So I just don't understand it. You, once again, it'll be if, if let's face it, people who think that you drive a Tesla, you're rich. They seem to think you're fucking super rich and you can afford anything. They seem to think you're a fucking oligarch, but you're not. Normal people like myself and my June and the Kiwi and them next door, you know. People like me, and probably your good selves watching this, not everybody, right, granted, not everybody, could probably go down to a Tesla garage and get one on finance now. The one, about 45 grand or something for a fucking Tesla, 
starting at 45 grand. You, you know, you, if you budget it right and you trade your old car in and, you know, all right, granted, gas and petrol and fucking everything else. Well, you won't want petrol if you're in a Tesla, would you? But everything else is going up. But in theory, you could actually go down to Tesla and buy one. Your everyday working person kind of thing could go and get a Tesla. Not everybody, so don't come with that shit, but I know what I mean, and you know what I mean, you're just being... Is it pernickety, June? Sorry, I wasn't listening. You fucking bastard. Is it pernickety? Yes, there is such a word. Thank you, Carol Vorderman. Um, so, you don't have to be a millionaire to own one. So... Going around and shutting Teslas down in Russia is not going to make the slightest bit of difference. But my point is, what do you want now? Get down. Um, the thing is, is that if, if, if that's what they want to do, right, if that's how these companies want to do it, if this is how these governments want to fucking play this game, what is to stop them from saying, right, Shutting your Samsung watch down, shutting your Samsung phone down, shutting your iPhone down, shutting your iPad down. What what is to stop them from doing that? <coughs> what, what, it's just a fucking joke. And also, what is it to, that they could turn around and say, if Tesla, right, say, say you tweeted something bad about Tesla, and then you buy a Tesla fucking couple of years later, and Tesla see that, what is their... What is their what is stopping them from saying, right, I'm going to shut your car down for fucking two days? What happens if Tesla and, because let's face it, uh, Elon Musk got together with Twitter, is not So what if you tweeted something and Elon Musk didn't agree with it and it comes up, it gets flagged up, right, let's BVM, right, you're going to have your fucking van took off the road for five days. Is it that that can be done? Is it that way of controlling us where... We're afraid to fucking say something or think something and then we could get a fucking ban from your car. Your car could be shut down for two days. If a government doesn't agree, uh, you don't agree with the government, uh, let's face it, let's say Diane Abbott was in actually, let's say uh, Corbyn won the last election and uh, Diane Abbott actually got into some kind of power and you said something and she didn't like it and she could turn around and say, right, shut Nigel's car down for a week. That'll teach him. It's, it, it, it's, get, it's getting to that situation now where you, you are actually thinking, what the fuck is going off? If they have a company... So I'm not just saying it could be Tesla. It could be Ford. Ford have got electric cars. Volkswagen. I've done a review. Mini. They're doing it. Audi. They've all got these electric cars. Could a company shut down cars on the switch of a button? Or the press of a button? Or the flick of a switch? Is it that, I mean, you, you've just had all the, I mean, some of you might not know, because so you might not watch that kind of media, you might not watch that kind of news outlet, but they've just had all the protests in Canada. Now, what happens if all those trucks in Canada were electric, and that fucking pricking charge of Canada, what's his name, Trudeau? June? What? Trudeau, is it, in Canada? Trudeau, yeah. Trudeau. What if he'd have said, right, Shut all the fucking trucks down. We'll take their ability to protest away from them. What, what the fuck is going on? And this is what I'm saying is that people, you've really got to start thinking, thinking seriously about where things are going. I've had some uh, messages on my Twitter, uh, on my Facebook, uh, where I've voiced my opinions and on the media of what they're being told or what we're being told and what we're actually being told to believe and being forced to believe. And I'm trying to do, but I, I, you know, I, I watched Russell Brand the other day and he was going on about it because like, I like Russell Brand, he makes me laugh, he uses big words that I can't understand. But he's also saying the same thing. People think about what you're being told, think about what you're being led to believe. Don't believe everything you see. And this is what's happening. I've just been chatting to a mate and he was saying like, when you think about it, you don't actually own anything in theory. And like, we were talking on a night, he says, back in the day, when I, right, when I used to get ready to go out on a fucking night in the 80s, right, I used to have my fucking George Michael on, uh, or whatever, I had the jam on or something, and I owned a CD. 
CD, right? You put it in the CD player and that was it. It was yours. You own that CD. I've still got them in the loft. But nowadays, everything that we use to, to entertain ourselves with is downloaded. downloaded. It's all, it's all, you don't fucking own it. You, you go on to Spotify, right? You've got your own little catalogue of what you like on Spotify. Yeah? Spotify could just kick you out. They could say, no, fuck off BVM, we don't want you anymore. And we'll keep your music that you've bought off us. You've got Amazon. I want to watch Jeremy Clarkson. Amazon could turn around and say, no, fuck you, we don't want you anymore. You've tweeted something, you've said something, you're gone, we don't want you. Well, you could go on to Netflix. Same again. You want to watch the Jimmy Savile thing? No. You're not watching it. There is nothing. In theory, what you own now is what you own. It's all on subscription. You buy and play your games nowadays on your Xbox and whatever. I don't play on Xboxes. I'm 53. But I don't fucking play on them. And everything. You go and see these kids and these kids want to buy fucking footballers. And they have to earn the pocket money or the, the parents just give it to them because they can't be doing with the fucking nagging. And they, they, you don't own anything. You don't actually own anything. The companies could delete you at a drop of a hat. They don't care. They've got your money. Disney, you want to sit down and watch a Disney film? No, we don't want you today. You can go. Nobody owns a DVD player. Nobody owns a fucking cassette player. Yeah, you get the albums are making a comeback. But you don't, in theory, actually own anything. In fact, it's like, you say things now. Facebook, I've got my own personal Facebook thing. And I keep getting fucking banned for two days, five days, seven days, a month. I got a fucking month the other day. Because of something I said that was they, they misinterpreted. Because the fucking stupid Americans don't understand the, our English language. They've got their own English language. They can't even spell fucking colours right. But they, they, they banned me for saying something that wasn't really offensive in... It, they're just fucking idiots. But at this rate now, people think they're doing the right thing by buying an electric car. Ooh, we're saving the world, we're buying that. Yeah, go and tell that to the poor lad mining the fucking shit to make in your battery, right? But what's happening is, is that people are buying these electric cars, right? Because they think they're doing the right thing. They think they're doing, oh, look at me, I'm saving the fucking world. You're not saving the world at all. You're still getting your fucking electric from those great twatting power stations near Nottingham, you bunch of fucking idiots. You're still polluting the atmosphere with all them stuff going out the fucking thing. But what's happening is, is petrol and diesel are going up, right? Petrol and diesel are going up to drive us off the fucking road so that people can't afford to drive their vehicles, um, get to work, take the kids to school, take the elderly parents shopping, take the elderly parents to the doctors. If you can get into the fucking doctors. But what they'll do is... With the household bills going up and everything like that, if you want to charge up your electric car, you won't be able to afford to charge up the electric car. If you can afford to charge up the electric car, what is stopping the government in the future saying, right, you're only allowed to drive that car between the certain hours of this and this. You can only drive, drive from eight in the morning till six at night. And then that's it, you're done. It's just... It, they're just taking the piss and it's only going to get worse but when you think about it what else do you carry that you don't carry cash your cash is all on cards it's all here What's stopping the government from saying, right, you can only spend your cash on this and this? Now, I'm not going to say this is going to happen tomorrow. And some of you are all going to be saying, oh, you're conspiracy theory, you're tin app wearer. I couldn't give a fuck. But this, gonna, this is something that's going to happen. If a car company can shut your car down, 
at that easy. What else can a government do? You're laughing, but you don't know. Five, 10, 15 years, this could be happening. And it's a fucking joke. But I'll finish it on this. If Tesla do, I don't think they will because I just don't think they will. But this virtue signaling from Tesla, if they did shut down cars in Russia, would absolutely kill the electric car company. Because there is no fucking way in, on this world, on this earth, people would buy electric cars. I don't particularly want one. I don't want one now. It, I would have to be absolutely forced really forced into having one it would have to be the last option i am i'm gonna buy cars on the last year i am gonna buy cars shut up i would buy cars two cars junie's just gone running by like scooby-doo and now the twoodle's gone the other way um it would be my last option, and I am going to buy cars in the last year. I absolutely predict that in the last two years of cars, of normal fuel combustion cars, I predict that they will fucking skyrocket, because <coughs> this will get out more. What I'm saying now, people will learn about this. And people who are living in terraced houses will not have the ability to, the, the facilities to charge their cars up. They'll need, you go now, you go to Foss Park, right, in Leicester, there's very few charging facilities for electric cars. This should be being now, every parking space should have the charging facility for an electric car. That's it. There shouldn't be no fucking around, it should be done there now. They've just spent a fortune at Foss Park, I think they've had something like two fucking charges put in. Well, they haven't, they've had more, but I'll just, you know... It, it ain't gonna work. So, that's it. Now, just to finish this off, I've had a couple of people saying, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm, sub, I'm subscribed because I don't like what you're saying. And all that. Well, don't fucking watch me then. I don't honestly care. Because what you're saying to me is trying to shut me down of my free speech. If you don't wanna watch, don't fucking watch. If you don't wanna fucking subscribe, don't tell me you don't subscribe and I can't give a fuck. Not bothered, not bothered, am I, June? Not one bit. In fact, I quite like it when I upset people and they say things like that. It means I'm hitting a nerve. Right, I'm going to upload you and I'll see you all when I upload this.